Look and update your VirtualBox system to the latest version. 6.1.22 was just released, and I'll show you how to quickly do that. When you open up VirtualBox, you can head over to the file menu at the top and then click on check for updates. If there is a new version available like there is right now, this prompt will come up and you can click on the link to download the latest version. It'll automatically download onto your computer. And then what you can do is you can begin the download by opening up the file. So we have the window over here, but before we click on next, let's just shut down our existing version that's already open by clicking on okay and closing it. Now this is probably the reason why it's crashing or not updating successfully if you've had issues, as I've read in some of the comments. So you wanna make sure you completely exit out of VirtualBox. So click on next and then next to all the default settings. Uh, we're gonna leave all the shortcuts and everything as is. Uh, we're gonna say yes to the prompt and then install. So we'll get a prompt here for Windows and you can say yes to that. And it's gonna download and extract all the required files. And then we can reopen VirtualBox. Okay, so the installation is complete. We can automatically launch it. And the next thing that's gonna pop up is the extension pack because that's been updated as well. So we can automatically download it from here by clicking on the download button. And then it's asking, are you sure you wanna download this file? We can click on download again. And now it's ready to install it. So we can say yes to the prompt and we can upgrade the existing version. It's telling us the two version numbers that we have. So we can click on upgrade. And in order to agree, you have to scroll all the way down and then click on I agree. Say yes to the prompt and it'll unpack and install the extension pack. Now for the extension pack, you click on okay. Uh, after it's been successfully done. And then now it's gonna delete any temporary files that it has. Uh, you can just say delete to both because we no longer need them. And that's it. So for the extension pack, you don't have to shut it down, but if you're upgrading the existing version of VirtualBox, you need to completely exit the application before upgrading. And that's how you quickly and easily upgrade your VirtualBox to the latest version. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.